One big question that I've been asked before, I get asked all the time, and actually this video was a recommendation from a good friend of mine, uh, one of his wrestlers. What's the difference between a good wrestler and a great wrestler? <laughs> First, you have to recognize it's a very subjective topic um, because uh, there's a lot of good wrestlers at each stage of level, you know, mi middle school, high school, college, uh, and international. But what makes a wrestler great is the ability, I guess, just from, a, you know, a, what tournaments they win or what they do and accomplish in their career uh, from like an award base uh, is the fact that they are able to accomplish their goals and not just one time, they're able to do over a consistent amount of time and repeat it to move to the next levels um, each step of the way. I also think another thing that makes a wrestler great is through a lot of adversity still being able to, over the course of time, surpass the limits that they're expected to do. Uh, because nobody's ever going to always be picked favorite to, to win. You know, no matter what, there's always going to be some controversy or doubt or something that seeps in when talking about what they got to do, but they're able to defy all the odds and uh, still accomplish their goals. What does it take for a person to go from a good wrestler to a great wrestler? It's probably something that, that's willing to be coached properly, I think. Doc Rivers, the basketball coach, has a quote and it says, average players want to be left alone. Good players want to be coached and great players want to be told the truth. And I think this is where that whole question of good and great, I think the good wrestlers become good, but somewhere they stop the development, and for one reason or another, where the great wrestlers, the John Smiths, the Jordan Burroughs, those guys find ways to continually be coached and continually to grow in the sport uh, and continue to evolve in the sport. So I think it's because they're able to probably take criticism pretty well and be willing to look at themselves and say, you know what, I could use a little improvement in this area. Yeah, I might be the best in the world, but maybe I need some help in this area. And so I think good to great means being very humble, being open, continually evolving. That's the difference in my opinion. This is something I have to deal with a lot and uh, is being coached and being still looking with an open mind on things, even though, you know, I'm the best in the world right now and winning a, or becoming a world champion, but be able to listen and fix things that I still need improvement on for, uh, and sitting down and, and being coached and told what to do, taking some criticism in all these areas because where I'm not going to grow uh, if, if I don't and I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to either stay the same or regress. So I need to constantly improve my game. And yeah, it's not fun. A lot of times it's not, especially when you, you got to put your pride aside and be able to uh, take, the, take the criticism because in the end it's all help for you to get to be a better wrestler. From my observation and study of great wrestlers is that when you look at them from the outside, it doesn't look like they're doing anything different than anybody else, but it seems like their attention to detail is the difference. You know, they're looking at everything that they do and it's the little things. There's a quote that I got somewhere, I don't remember where, but it's champions are champions not because they do extraordinary things. Champions are champions because they do the ordinary things better than anybody else. It's in the details. Their finishes are just a little better. Their shots are just a little better set up. Their turns are just a little more calculated, you know? They're, they're set up so. I, I think that's the difference. It's it's fine. It's such a fine line, but you know, it's not that they're doing extraordinary things. It's that they're doing the little things better than everybody else. Attention to detail.